This episode of We Like Shooting Double Tap is brought to you by Black Rhino Concealment, Rubber Dummies, Neomag, and Bowers. Welcome to We Like Shooting Double Tap, episode 108, where we answer your questions, ask a few of our own, and touch base on gun industry news. Our panel tonight is everyone's favorite gun posse. We've got the owner of River's Edge Tactical and Range, Jeremy Paz Derek, the machine gun Moses Aaron Krieger. He's here and he's annoying as ever. Nick has been replaced by Savage 1R and Savage 1R has been replaced by a potato. My name is Sean Heron and I want to welcome you to the show. Show rhymes with the that's what you are. Yeah, what was that oh, noise? Oh, damn, snap, son. What was that noise I just made? <laughs> Did you guys hear that? I said, show. <laughs> <laughs> I was uh <laughs> your voice cracked for puberty. No, it was like I was yodeling. I was like, yeah, <laughs> because all, all, all actuality your <laughs> can't drop anymore. <laughs> Aaron's got it in for me tonight. I don't understand, but <laughs> prepare yourself. I felt for I I feel like actually the yodeling kid, this guy. Yeah. <laughs> that's how i felt i don't know i, I thought that was a cat for a second <laughs> it was <laughs> oh it's all very confusing uh before we get started guys let's talk about black rhino concealment Bye. all right so black rhino concealment makes stuff nick you actually asked me and i'm sorry to bring this up on the show because it is a little bit awkward but you asked me to take a picture of my oscar mike wallet earlier and Mm-hmm. You never gave it back to me. And what, the picture? No, my wallet. Oh. And? Yeah, can I have it back, please? What wallet? Nick, don't play games. What wallet? Don't play games, Nick. I don't know what you're talking about. Do not play games with me, Nick. Where's my wallet? I need my wallet, Nick. I don't know what you're talking about. Wait, we're allowed to play games now? <laughs> no, you're not. Oh. Uh-huh. Because you'll cheat. No, I never cheat. I always stay within the rules. <laughs> the Oscar Mike wallet is actually... If the rules don't state it, then it's not cheating if I do it. Uh, this is the Oscar Mike wallet. Now, Nick, I've had this in my pocket, and... Oh, God, it smells like farts, but... I didn't get it near me <laughs> yeah. enough to smell. What would you say the condition of this wallet is? And I've been carrying it every day for, I don't know, a year and a half, two years? Uh, loved, but very functional. Yeah. Yeah. It's a little bit flat. Yeah, you can see like uh oh it's got the we like shooting print on it as well as the uh black rhino logo. It's a white rhino. Um I know, right? Uh and it's it's a little bit cracked and worn. You can see that like you've been sitting on it and stuff, but the actual material itself is in pretty good condition. Yeah, the thread is is good to go. There's no phrase anything else like that. And that's how I feel about their holsters too. In fact, I have one right here. This is their ACS. This is the appendix carry system that I have in my SIG P365 in. Uh, on it, it says all hail Heron and hashtag WLS is life. Love Gino. Love the guys over at Black Rhino Concealment. And if you need a holster, you need a wallet, any of that stuff, you can save money. Just use coupon code WLS Mofo and it saves you 10% all day, every day. Let's go ahead and go into Would You Rather. Oh, wait, no. Before we do that, Nick, you had an interesting thing come up when you yeah. were in New York. Yeah. So uh, last week I went to New York for a wedding. Um, against my will as pretty much every wedding is, you know? Yeah. Um, so yeah. Oh, we, no. Was it an open bar? Uh, no, it was a oh. cash bar. Uh, that wedding. I know. Right. No. Yeah. Uh, so yeah. I hope they get a divorce. Wow. <laughs> open, open bar to divorce though. Right. <laughs> you know, that would actually be awesome. I like this idea. Yeah. So, uh, that's what it should be. Yeah. I went to New York and, uh, I, I packed accordingly. Um, Fudge packed. Uh, <laughs> like I, I, I pulled the patches and stuff off of my backpack that I thought were like really clearly gun related or whatever. Uh, I, I did leave my my murdered out. We like shooting patch on there because I was like, this is pretty subtle. Unless you're really close, you can't really read it. Um, yeah, so I did. I, I did all this stuff, but I took my hoodie with me, and like the only hoodie that I really wear that often is my murdered out. We like shooting hoodie. So, uh, we went into the city and like spent a day in the city and no, no issues, no problems, whatever. Uh, we come back to Albany where we were staying and, uh, are just outside Albany. And this is like farm territory, you know, like the, the town that we were actually in had a tiny population. Um, 
very, very rural. So I'm like here of all places, I should be fine. So, um, I'm hanging out in the hotel room and Tyler was in the wedding. So she was off doing uh bridesmaid stuff and I get bored. So I throw on like some shorts and my hoodie and I go down to the bar and, uh, I walk into the bar and right as I walk through the door, there's this guy sitting at a table there, uh, uh, two guys. And one of them looks at me and says something about, you know, like you can't wear that in here. And I'm like, Oh, you know, it's a, it's kind of a nice place. So for a brief second, I'm like, I, I can't wear a hoodie, you know, like he wants me to go put on something else. And then he says, uh, says something about like, you got to watch this guy. He's got a problem or something like that to the waitress or to the, to the hostess. And, uh, at this point I'm like, this is, this is weird. And, uh, I just kind of like smirk at him or whatever, and then continue walking in towards the bar. And, uh, he turns to the guy next to him and says something about like, did you get, did you see that guy's, that guy's shirt? It said, we like shooting. And then like, they kind of talk back and forth to each other. But, but I, I that was like the only time that I've ever gotten harassment for anything firearm related, you know? Wow. Uh, it's weird. Cause I wear this stuff. Well, like what I'm wearing yeah. now is what I wear every day. Every yeah, year. I have, in, I have in a, Colorado. It's slightly <laughs> different than New York city. Well, no, see the thing is like, I even have a, a tattoo of a rifle on my arm. Um, and I, I've spent a lot of time in like, uh, especially LA over the last couple of years. Uh, never, never literally never had an issue. Um, I even had somebody in San Francisco give me a military discount for coffee because he pointed at my tattoo and he was like, I gave you the military discount. <laughs> Dude, and I was about to be like, Whoa. I know, I know. I was Whoa. about to be like, I was about to be like, no, no. <laughs> but then I also didn't want to argue with the guy at Starbucks over the 10 cents that he gave me on my coffee. So, yeah. uh, wow. Still in Valor. So Nick literally never an issue, but, but rural New York, some, some guy wanted to call me out. It was, uh, it was pretty unexpected and weird yeah it seems like it yeah so I, what made it better though is he turned out to be i don't know anybody at this wedding and tyler only knows her friend who is the bride yeah so like i don't know who any of the family is i don't know anybody so uh it turns out this guy was actually uh the bride's godfather and the guy that was sitting next to her at the table was her father <laughs> wow that's awesome you know and after i found that out i was like i should have talked talk some yeah you guy, really should have you really should have uh, dude like you're going to people that you barely know's wedding. I'm like, my son was getting married and I was like, do I have to go? Like, oh, <laughs> no, I was, I, I had to go because Tyler was in it. If she wasn't in it, then I would have stayed home. Yeah. My, my cousin's getting married this weekend in Colorado mm -hmm. and I'm yeah. not going. I'm like, mm, nah. One of my cousins got married in Colorado and I didn't go. <laughs> right. <laughs> All of my cousins have gotten married and I never went. And I'm sorry. Yeah. Like, I love you guys, but man, I, I hate weddings. Yeah. Um, God, we've, we've done... I think three weddings every year for the last three years. Jesus. I get invited to lots of weddings and I politely decline because f that. Yeah. I, I hate it. I keep telling her no more, no more. And then somehow more come up that I have to go to. It's so weird. This is the segment called would you rather where Aaron gives us a query and we answer it. Literally, figuratively, and Jeremy says, no, I picked something that's not even on the list. So, Aaron, what do you have for us tonight? Zombie apocalypse. Do you fight Finally. Off a, do you fight off a horde <laughs> of zombies with a K-bar or a crowbar? Hmm. Well, I think I'll go with Savage first because this is – I don't know that you've done this segment yet. Uh, I think. I think the overwhelming – support for me would have to go to the crowbar because you've got it's uh it's got some heft to it so it's heavy it's blunt but it also has a sharp end to it whereas and you can got get some distance between you and the the zombie hordes whether whereas with the k-bar knife you have to get up close to have to stab them and you can risk getting hurt that way so i think the crowbar is the good distance weapon yeah i uh, nick what do you think I agree with Savage on the, you know, the crowbar is going to give you more reach. However, All right. the crowbar is hit. No, this I'm, is, this, I'm sorry no. to interrupt you, but you on this episode, you have admitted mm -hmm. to committing stolen valor and now you're agreeing with Savage. <laughs> yeah, well, uh, however, while the, the K bar or the cr uh, crowbar will give you more reach, uh, it's also heavier, right? So you're going to get tired faster. Uh, so I don't know. It's a, it's a tough call. The, the K bar, I think you would get tired slower. However, if you like stab a zombie in the skull, you know, 
there's a possibility that knife may not come back out as easily. I don't know. Yeah, the, the K bar has got that serrated edge on it, and that gets that's well, notorious I mean, for getting stuck. Only if you're getting the wrong K bar. No, well, I suppose that's true. Jer- why would, Jeremy, why would you get a serrated? Yeah, uh, I don't know. Some <laughs> kids do. That. What's wrong with you, Savage? I, I wouldn't do it. I'm going with the crowbar. Jeremy, what would you use? My fist. <laughs> my. <laughs> I was just stabbing with my. <laughs> I'm g- <laughs> All the women are dead. Sling blade. All the women are dead. <laughs> Jeremy would use a lawnmower. Only <laughs> zombies from now on. <laughs> uh, Jeremy, you would use a, a lawnmower blade. A uh, sling blade. <laughs> but a, a K bar or a crowbar are the two options. Yeah, but those are both. I mean, I'd use I'd use a ditch bank blade. He's <laughs> <God. laughs> like. Your rules. I'm not. I'm not even gonna. I'm not gonna do this anymore. Okay, so I, I would go with the K bar because I'm thinking when we're, when we're talking zombies historically, you have to destroy the brain or sever the the spinal cord or wh- whatever it happens to be, right? So I'm thinking neck is a soft target. K bar is pretty big. I'm just gonna try to get him in the neck, sever that spinal cord, and hopefully drop him. Um, someone said, and I agree in the chat, crowbar is gonna tire you out faster. Where this might be a little bit precision, but you're going to swing that a few times. And let's be f-ing honest. We're all horrible shape. We yeah, don't you know have do some f-ing push-ups. Yeah. The first f-ing rule of zombie fighting is cardio. We've already f-ed this up. Yeah. <laughs> um, so yeah, I, I think I would have to go with the K bar, Aaron. Oh, K bar all the way, man. Uh, because it's up close and personal and, uh, you can, while you're killing the zombie, you could also look in their pockets to see if they have any, uh, zombie money. Wait, Just saying. Do so that's where Zcash comes from. Ah, <laughs> bad crypto joke. Yeah, it's weird that Aaron just wants to look in a zombie's eyes. Uh, in their in their pockets? I mean, uh, I think the crowbar might be the right answer because I personally already have a lot of experience killing zombies with crowbars from uh, Half-Life. Uh, it was more of those like, little creepy giant tick things, wasn't it? Well, Head no, because they, they – uh, the, yeah, the head crabs like hop onto people's heads and take over their yeah. bodies. But also, so then, so then they're like zombies wandering around. But also, Half Life Three confirmed. Oh, mm-hmm. it is that not. just happened? <laughs> it you, is. You've got to, you've got to stop I talking am, about it because every time I'm signing back up for Steam right now. Hold every on. time you talk about it, <laughs> Gabe pushes it back further. <laughs> is that Gabe Newell? Mm-hmm. Yeah. What piece of? Oh wow, oh, wow. really? Well, now he's pushing it back even further, further. Lol, lol, lol. Yeah, wow. yeah. That, that's look. That's all you're gonna get. That's what I say. Here well, we it's not gonna come out in your lifetime. That's for sure. Maybe not. <laughs> 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 all right. Let's talk about some Neomag. So I noticed that they all are also offering uh, magazines on their website now, and I have been working with Greg on a special little project for all of our listeners. It's gonna come out very soon, and I think you'll be super happy with it. Um, what is it? It is laser engraved. We like shooting Neo Max. God, oh, I, what? I didn't think you'd give that up that Why easily. Why did you just trick me into that? <laughs> it's cool an uh, interrogation technique. That wow. Yeah. Are you a Jedi? That was no. like magic. I don't know what happened. The gathering. <laughs> wow. That was that was amazing. So anyway, mm. I guess the cat's out of the bag. They'll be, feel, be for sale very soon. Uh, but if you can't wait another week or so, you can go to theneomag.com. Use coupon code WLS10 and get 10% off. Uh, today, Nick was like, did you take my Neomag? And uh, I was like, no. And he's like, did you move it off the desk? And I was like, no. And he's like, because it was in my pocket and now it's not here. And I was like, are you accusing me of something? Stolen Valor Boy? <laughs> First of all, <laughs> Sounds like I, didn't, is, I didn't ask you if you took it. I wasn't like, Sean, did you? Do-? I was like, hey, did you see it? Because I put my hand into my pocket and it was not there. And I didn't remember taking it out. And I thought, maybe, other hand. I thought maybe it had like somehow come out of my pocket, which is insane because the clip is like, you know, yeah. really uh, pinchy on there. Yeah, he, no, he I didn't, I didn't want to say tight because um, I knew that, you know, uh, it's yeah. So I, had, I had it? pulled it out and set it down and then forgotten that I had pulled it out. <laughs> I got one That's hand said. in my pocket. You know, what's great you is you were uh, high five. I think I've seen like 10 jokes about Savage skip the bread line or uh, it's Wednesday. Shouldn't he be in the bread line? Oh, no, man. There's only so many bread lines that can be in at once. They're all over the place. Do you ever get government cheese to go with that bread from the bread line? <laughs> Dude, wouldn't that be awesome? Yeah, if you no. never, never want to <laughs> poop again. <laughs> be the worst grilled cheese ever. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, check out theneomag.com, coupon code WLS10, and uh, those will be out very, 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 very soon. Uh, let's go ahead and get into 
Burn when you pee? Unsure about your relationship? Why can't you use 45 in a 9mm? Get your questions answered on hashtag DearWLS. Visit WeLikeShooting.com slash DearWLS to submit your question. All right. Aaron, why don't you start us off? Did I tell you I hurt my back the other day? Well, yeah, and then you came here and... And right, and it healed it. Like I, my back felt great. I got back. It's because I've got a really good mattress in the spare bedroom. Right, and then uh, I, I'm at home, and my and my wife's like, "Can you put away all the suitcases?" Because we've just been on a trip, and they're just sitting there. I'm like, "Sure." So I put every suitcase inside the other suitcase, and then I grabbed it and twisted really fast to move it. Dude, drop me. I'm like, oh, I'm crippled. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm still stuck on the part where you said you came. Yeah, <laughs> that you came here. Oh. Yeah, it where sucked. he traveled here. I oh, okay, travel. I was really concerned. But your bed—that's the answer. <laughs> your bed. Nah, I feel like Pepper would have chased him off. Uh, Pepper was kind of a. I'll be honest. To you, she yeah. loves me. So well, I mean, she, apparently, yeah, apparently, she hissed at you, right? Yeah. I I have never ever seen this cat hiss. Me ever. Either. I didn't even know she could. I I have I have gotten her to growl before, but she's never hissed that I have yeah, heard. It, it was weird because she's like, meow, meow, meow. And I'm like, cool, I'll, I'll come over and pet you. And I start petting her. And she's like, meow, meow, meow. And then looked at me like, meow, meow. <laughs> and then ran off. I'm like, you cat. Were you trying <laughs> to creep on her? What? Were you trying to creep on her? Yeah, she's not a wife. She's a cat. <laughs> uh, no, just petting the cat like a cat. My cat's like me. Your yeah. cat's a <laughs> <laughs> And pre- First of all, I'm pretty sure your cat's downsy because – one eye doesn't work, and then the and the other oh. eye that does work just leaks all the time. No, it's her uh, her eyelashes, like poker mm-hmm. in the eye. Oh yeah, that's exactly what it is. Yeah, no, you, <laughs> you can actually see it, like if you look at it. Oh, yeah, well, it's hard to because they're both eyes are looking at each other like this, crossed. Poor Pepper. <laughs> Maybe were you were you like were you like this looking at her like her face? <laughs> right. I, I, mean, she, I can see her, and it was so funny because I saw Sean like I'd go to pet her. Mm-hmm. And she would like think I'm already touching her because she can't. She has no depth <laughs> perception. <laughs> See, you're saying oh, these things. She seems her depth perception seems fine to me, but I mean, well, she did fall off the chair that one night. So <laughs> yeah, but <laughs> was that after we put the cloth things on her? No. Oh man, we put these uh, we put these <laughs> mitten things on her yesterday. Oh, you did get them. Yeah. Okay. Holy <laughs> so I put them on. It was, and I went to set her down. And her paws hit the ground, and then she tried to pick both of them up at the same time. <laughs> so her face almost smashed into the floor. <laughs> and then she, like, did this dance for a little bit, trying to keep them off the ground. And then she, like, stood up on her high. It was awesome. It was – I was just standing there laughing. Sean was like, I feel so bad. I was like, that's f-ing hilarious. That's good. Hey, hey uh, Savage? <laughs> yeah. Go ahead and read the first one, Shotgun Her. Oh, wow. I can read the first one. Well – Shotgun her wondering if you can give me some advice on a sling for my 870. I have both a bird and slug barrel for it. I often hunt with a pack on, so traditional shoulder carry results in a slow, clunky draw and is always slipping off my shoulder. I tried a single point sling, but while it had a fast, smooth draw, it was always bouncing against my leg and the barrel was hitting the ground. Currently, I'm running a two-point sling, which has a nice draw, but it rests on my thigh while I'm walking, often right on my keys, which is very annoying, and the barrel is still close to the ground. The gun has a traditional swivel end cap, an ATI forend with pick rails, ATI stock with QD mount, and ergo dual slide mount on the buffer tube. I'm not Goliath like Jeremy, uh, more like David. Any recommendations? Hmm. Well, it sounds like he's got – correct me if I'm wrong, but it sounds like he's using his sling um, either at one end or the other of the gun, the single-point sling. No, well, no he's, well, he's, he's, he's switched he's over to two-point, but right. he's, he's, he's carrying it barreled down, which I'm like, uh, really? Well, safety. Uh, but mm. if he goes with a single-point sling and then mounts it in the center of the rifle – Okay, first the off, shotgun. hold on. First off, single yeah, point sure. slings like that. Yeah. We shouldn't well, even can do I, can I? Can I Can I finish? Sure. Can I finish? Sure. Can I finish? Can I finish? Sure. Can I finish? Hey, right. I, I'm, I'm going to let you finish. You're, 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 you're going to finish, but you're going to be wrong. So go. That's fine. So I would use a single point sling set up in the center, and that way it won't the your barrel won't be laying on the ground, and you, you can actually use your arm to push it against your chest while mm-hmm. you're walking. What center? 
Center, uh, it would be basically center of mass. Center, center or the weight center? Uh, I would go with uh, weight center. Oh, mm, that's going to be pretty far forward. It's still going to be better than um, the barrel dragging on the ground, like his, his biggest complaint. Yeah, I don't know. I don't, I don't think a single point would be the way to go with that thing. <laughs> okay, well, I'm, I'm throwing options out there before everything gets dismissed. Here, here's, here's what you do. Uh, use your sling for transporting your gun, and if you're hunting, there shouldn't be a f***ing draw. It should be in your goddamn hands. Oh, good point. Yeah, but I mean, you're like, you're armed hiking until you're actually hunting, right? So when you're armed hiking, if you have to walk seven miles, maybe a sling would be a smart idea. I think two-point sling, too, because A, you have two points of positive control plus your hand. B, they're comfortable and, you know, maybe like a Vickers sling or something where you can tighten it up and keep it up against you and then just quickly... Uh, sling it out or loosen it. What's the word? Quickly. Yeah. Uh, you quickly really extend it. it. Yeah. Touch your mom. Uh, and then he what? said it rests on your thigh when he's walking, which, okay, that's fine. And often right on your keys. So I'm thinking you got the right setup. Just put your keys in the other pocket or in the backpack. Or, well, he's yeah, also okay. still mentions that it comes close to hitting yeah. the ground or, or just carry, well, yeah, carry, don't it, carry barrel, it. Barrel down. Yeah. yeah. Carry barrel up. What? Who carries a and slings a god shotgun barrel down. Apparently this guy. Yeah, I don't know. I, I'm i just trying to picture uh, where, where are the ma- QD mounts on this? I mean, he's got a pick so rail. He's got, it's a, a sling on the front, on the on the front of the magazine tube, and then probably one on the butt st- uh, stock. I, I said QD, I meant sling mount. Well, he said he's got a, he's yeah, got, he said he's got a rail forend. Yeah, but he says he has a sling swivel on the, on the magazine tube. As well. He said he's got an ATI stock with a QD mount. And an ATI forend with pick rails, so you can put a sling mount on the forend. You can put a, a QD on the f-ing stock, carry it crossbody like you would an AR, and then come up with it. Like you could do that. Yeah, like but a if you're f-ing Condor Vickers, I mean, any bungee or quick release sling will f-ing work for that. But my question is, why the f-ing, if you're hunting, don't you have the gun in your hand? What are we hunting? We're hunting squirrel, rabbit, uh, duck, goose, because like those are all very different. If I'm actively stalking. F-ing, rabbits i have the gun in my hand i'm not drawing it to get a f-ing shot of you'll never kill a f-ing rabbit mm, interesting uh, a vw but a rabbit maybe i generally carry barrel down uh really what, it, yeah when it, yeah I, I do as well um i'm not gonna lie yeah uh, and, i did cut down the cherry tree as well and in this position in, in this situation i would definitely carry like, i would carry two point sling vicar style so you can sling it up tight against you while you're walking, and then when you're ready to start hunting, or you decide you're going to start hunting, you just kind of move it. Uh, I don't know, loosen it or whatever. I don't know. Right, what the, take right it off. Just but if, I, if I'm actually hiking through the woods, I usually have it slung on my back, barrel up. Yeah, yeah. Well, he's got. But a, if I, but if I want to have access to it, yeah, he's got a pack. If I'm if I'm like if I'm hiking hiking, I'll have it going across that way because then it doesn't move and I can just go. Yeah, yeah. But if I'm actively hunting, the gun's in my f***ing hand. The sling doesn't come into play. There's no draw. Well, if he's you got don't a sit there with your on. gun on your shoulder until the deer runs in front of you. Hmm. He didn't say anything about a pack. He did. Yeah, he did. He hunts with a pack on. Yeah. All right. I don't know. I didn't see a f-ing pack. Yeah, it's, it's, it's there. Uh, it's right yeah, there. Yeah, it's right at the beginning. Second line. But it's I'm, all right. You didn't read it. We don't expect you to have to listen to everything Savage they said. Get a Get a pack with a god scabbard. Get a pack with a scabbard in it. Yeah, <laughs> maybe. <laughs> uh, all right, here we go. Tim R. To the best damn firearms podcast on the internet. Two questions: Will Henry add the loading gate to other calibers, and how soon? And how can we change the negative perceptions on firearms of people that on most everything else we are aligned? It baffles me. Thanks. Really mean it. Best damn firearms podcast on the internet. Tim Russell. Oh wow, Tim R. <laughs> yes also a computer it nerd sorry dude uh normally those aren't in there that's my bad yeah i didn't i didn't see that down there because you normally people only put their name in there once yeah my bad my bad uh let's see probably that's that's my guess because it's a pretty cool feature people got really excited about it so i would say probably and my guess would be soon ish at the very least next shot show yeah, that would be nice. Yeah. But how to change negative perceptions on firearms. I say this all the time, and I think it's generally a pretty good uh, way to go. And it's 
I, I don't try to convince people that they should like guns. I just try to convince people and, and through data and evidence, show them that their life is worth more than someone who should wish to take it from them, that the police are not there to protect them. And again, 2005, um, Castle Rock versus Gonzalez, um, they came back, Supreme Court said that law enforcement does not have a constitutional duty to protect. Um, I show them that. I, I convince them th- that their life is important. I convince them that it's worth saving. And then they say, okay, well, okay, my life is important. And then guns are just the next obvious thing that, that happens. Once they decide that their life is worthwhile and worth protecting, then guns are clearly the best way to do that, uh, that self-defense. Because, you know, not everyone can go out and be Hakeem Eisler and become a ninja or be Jeremy and become a giant or be John Lovell and become like the dude with the best hair in the, in the industry. Mm-hmm. But mm-hmm. you know, that's, that's kind of what I think. What, what do you guys think? I think that soon I will have the best hair in the industry. <laughs> I say my body of my rules, Sean. <laughs> well, I mean, like, what do you guys think? How do you change negative perceptions of firearms? Take people shooting. Honestly, I'm uh, later this month, I think even next week on Friday, I am taking a number of my people or a number of the people in my office out shooting. I organized a shoot for the, for the whole office and we're all heading out. Nice. Yeah. 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 I, I think that's awesome, man. Yeah. I, I'm pretty excited about it. You're, you're, I you're agree. That's get fired. I, I think another good way is to just show people through uh, your behavior and actions that, you know, you're a reasonable, trustworthy human being and you have firearms. So, you know. What you do is you put on a balaclava, you mug them, and then at the end of it, right before you knock them out, you say, you could have stopped this if you had had a gun, and then run away. And then there's Jeremy. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome, actually. Uh, that is. Aaron, what about you? Like, <laughs> How to lose your FFL in one easy step. <laughs> <laughs> police, right, hate the, on. Po- police hate this one simple trick. <laughs> uh, I don't know, man. I honestly don't know because I can't. I still haven't been able to convince my wife to like guns yet. So oh, how am I going to convince this a complete stranger? <laughs> yeah, that's a good point. They don't have to like them; just not be anti-gun. Like spouting the stupid <laughs> that we hear that is factually incorrect. You could not like guns. That's fine. I mean, the hardest part is getting a entire gener well several generations of people that feel like they're entitled to dictate how your life should be your life should be lived you know you don't get to say on how I, what i you know i think boating is dumb and there are a lot of people that like boats but i'm not telling you you can't get a boat and go boating yeah it's a money pit just like shooting is but hey if that's where you want to blow your spare cash knock yourself the fuck out yeah I, I like the boat, but sailboating, not motorboating. Because motor. Oh, I love motorboating. I love. I like boats and. I mean, I like motorboating. <laughs> <laughs> the weird thing, people, that you can't see if you're listening, is his cheeks are still moving. <laughs> <laughs> and they, some say they never stopped. <laughs> <laughs> this day, you can still hear it. <laughs> That's his trick. They never stop. Uh, Nick, next question. Okay. Oh, okay. John B. I assume his last name is good. Yes. Uh, John B. says, what can happen if a firearm with a silencer is lost in a boating accident? Hashtag registration leads to confiscation. Hashtag shut up, Aaron. Uh, hashtag who the f- is Nick? Hashtag <laughs> God, you're fat. Wow. <laughs> All right. Wow. Were all, those ha- were all those hashtags to me are just. Uh, That's a lot to take in. Well, I. Two. I I don't know. I don't know. I assume who the f*** is Nick is directed at me. But then I, the God, you're fat one. Is that back at me again? I assume that's all of us. Oh, okay. Well. Except Savage. Thank Be- you. Because Savage is weirdly ripped, but like really <laughs> shy about it. Well, the problem is he's, he's built like a prince, so he's like tiny. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I'm very <laughs> tiny. So, I mean, like, you know, little people look bigger because there's like less of them. <laughs> I mean... You remember when he came out here, we were all like, holy shit, savage. I bet he could take Jeremy. What? <laughs> <laughs> no. I'll take that. I'll yeah. Take that, <laughs> that just savage. Yeah, I don't think that's <laughs> realistic. <laughs> you can do it. 
Uh, well, I want to see that fight. I yeah. <laughs> we like shooting celebrity boxing. It'll be oh, like yeah. that uh, like that guy that knocked out Kembo Slice. Okay, so there was a there was a question here, and the question was: If your gun and suppressor get lost in a boating accident, what happens? And the answer is: As soon as you discover that your NFA firearm was lost or stolen, you must notify your local NFA branch office of the circumstances by providing the following information: Name and address of the person to whom it is registered, lost or stolen, uh, model, manufacturer, caliber, gauge, serial number, all that stuff. Date and place of the theft or loss, including details of the situation, must be made within forty eight hours. Uh, of discovery and you must notify local law enforcement also within 48 hours of discovery. Uh, I just, I confirmed it by reading it in about three different places. Thank you, Ryan Kleckner. No, I actually didn't find any Kleckner, which is weird. Cause yeah. dude, you Kleckner. Know, you, know what's even, you know, it's even worse. What? When you get audited by the ATF and you come up three suppressors short and it turns out that they never actually made it to you and they got lost in the mail. Jeez. Nope. <laughs> That's terrible. Yeah. Ask, I mean, ask me how I know. Because it happened. Lost. Yeah, yeah. No. Never got them. No, I know. You didn't. They said they were lost. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah, that, that's what it is. And, you know, if you Google anything, Ryan Kleckner pops up. If you're like, you know, how to make toast. There's a f-ing Kleckner video with the NSSF when he was the and VP of Remington. And it's the absolute best way to make toast possible. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Y- y'all say John Lovell's the best? No, Ryan Kleckner's the best. Earlier Indeed. when I looked up uh, man-licking mustache, uh, it was just a bunch of pictures of Ryan Kleckner. And Tom Selleck. Mm-hmm. And for some reason, he was licking Tom Selleck's mustache, and I was okay with it. He had peanut butter on it. Yeah. It was fine. He was just trying to help out. Uh, Jeremy, next question. It was for work, I promise. Um, <laughs> inked up Nick. Shut up, savage. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's what it actually says. <laughs> Giggling like a damn schoolgirl over there. <laughs> I got whiskey. It's just happy to be here. I am. Inked up Nick says, gentlemen, I'm building an AR-10, AR-10 pistol. How short of a barrel can I safely go? This gun is basically just meant to be obnoxious, but being able to hit a hog or something would always be nice, or would be nice. As always, thanks for the advice, and hashtag WLS is life. I mean, define safely. Safely, safely is right. relative. <laughs> right, like safely, it's just got to cover the casing yeah. and probably a little bit of the barrel. Yeah. Or, I mean, a little bit of the bullet. Uh, I don't, Three I, inches. I don't know what he – yeah, like you, you could go really tiny. Uh, it wouldn't be functional. I mean, it would function. function. Well, no, it wouldn't. It, wouldn't even, it wouldn't even function. It would just yeah. shoot one. They made a – AR-15 with a two-inch barrel. The tip of the bullet sticks out, and it bitch cycles. I synced it. How? I synced it. Because they basically drill the gas. The gas block is basically in the very end of the chamber. No. (laughs) Yeah. I mean, I saw saw something like that, but it was manually operated. You know, I would, but I'm I'm, I'm afraid a picture of me will show up like I'm naked. (laughs) <laughs> oh, I think I said two inch AK barrel. <laughs> Come on, if anything, it'd be a two inch seventeen barrel. Ooh, ouch. Ouch. I mean, but let's talk like minimum efficacy. But it's a bull barrel. <laughs> like, could you get a shorter barrel with a, a a greater twist rate and maybe stabilize a little better? No. What if you just got like a funnel on the end that just made it louder? <laughs> a loudener? They've yeah. got those. They've got those things. Uh, well, I mean, it's basically just a flash can. So yeah, there you go. I mean, uh, put you a know. put a breaker linear comp on the son of a. Oh, You'll God. be fine, but every poor around you, it's going to be louder. Which I think yeah. that's what he wants. So, but like you know, ten and a half for hog. I mean, if you really want to go short, but you want to at least still be able to kill a hog. I mean, at ten and a half, you're probably getting AK velocity or you know 76239 velocities. So just go get the shortest 308 AR barrel you can find and yeah. build that. Yeah, yeah, so I was thinking I know that uh Pincus when he was out here last he had a Patriot Ordnance Factory AR10 pistol and I'm just trying to find it just seems like a waste because you're you're killing so much of that energy. He had the, right, the short. revolution like you could go 300 blackout or 760 by 39 or something like yeah. that and have similar ballistics, but that's not the point here. The point is to be as loud and irritating as possible. 
Well, I mean, yeah, that being the case, sure. Why not? Yeah, I would just do some shopping and find the shortest barrel you can and go with that. I, I, I mean, would... just call just call someplace that uh, will do the custom work and tell them to have them cut you down to 308 to seven and a half inches if they don't can make it. Yeah. Oh, my God. <laughs> uh, yeah, you. I mean, you, don't, you, you could do that. You just need one that was fat enough that you could, uh, you know, reprofile the gas journal and everything in yeah, there. Yeah, we got a, a gas hole, yeah. Yeah, I think uh, this one is actually piston, the one that I was talking about from Pincus. It was piston because it had a shorter barrel. Well, POF's sense. really proud of their aren't they? They, it, yeah, they, they really are. Gee, many Christmas. I'm like, uh, is, is it some, what part is made of gold and silver? <laughs> so the barrel was forged in uh, the uh, the menses of virgins. Aaron, <laughs> read the question. <laughs> <laughs> wow. <laughs> Hello. Aaron. Uh, hey, yeah. PSI going on there. Holy Oh, shit. sorry, Aaron. You started to talk. I did, but you guys kept talking, so I stopped. I know. It's weird. Okay. Go ahead. This is from Butchie Bad Toe. This bitch is a weird name. Like, I, I wonder if that's his real Christian name. Well, yeah, and you yeah. just you just doxed him, so. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder if he has diabetes. <laughs> oh, shit. Dang. That sucks for him. Uh, he's a yeah, lesbian right. with diabetes. Okay, moving on. <laughs> Well, or uh, instead of a toe, he's got a bad toe. Uh, or she. Or she. Okay. Hey, guys. Hey, Thanks, guys. Dad. I have a question about the Heron holster from Black Rhino Concealment. I'm currently running the ACS for my Glock 43, and it's the most comfortable AIWB holster I've ever used. Right? I picked up the Glock 19 recently and was thinking of putting a Heron in my pants so I, <laughs> so I would fill my pocket with double stack mag. I use a Neomag for the G43, which is excellent, but I prefer not to run a double stack mags in my pockets. My question is, I'm a slim dude, and I have problems with printing. Will the bigger, girthier, meatier heron in my pants print more than the ACS? Don't know if you'll be able to answer this because you're all fat. Thank you. That, what? Uh, from, from Butchie. <laughs> What's First of all, man, what is the a, what is, what does the A stand for? A, like appendix in weight in the waistband. Appendix, appendix. No, wait, 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 quit making letters up in the waistbands in the waistband. Just because you happen to carry it at two o'clock doesn't mean like it's got to be a whole new thing. I don't think he made the letter up. It existed well, before because of the appendix. They've got this wing here that pushes it back into you, so it it doesn't print as well. So, I mean, listen. Uh, you're carrying a 43 in an a, a, uh, ACS right now, and holy shit, dude, like because this is the Sig P365 in the ACS, and it is tiny. Like I can just literally shove it down into my belt line, put the clips on, and it is tiny, and I forget about it all the time. W- yeah, what are we talking? So much about? room right there. <laughs> yeah, what are we talking about? So you're talking about going from literally my favorite holster in the universe. Um, to one that definitely it's got more kydex it's bigger you carry an extra magazine in there uh it's gonna pull it up against you pretty pretty damn well but it it's more material so just wear a larger shirt dude (laughs) i bet that a skinny dude can aiwb it way more effectively and with less printing than a big fat dude because this is true i mean listen when when i am appendix carrying like you want it to basically be kind of canted out just the tiniest bit so that the grip is kind of up into you and, and the muzzle is pointed a little bit away from you. But for fat dudes, AI, uh, AIWB, your, your belly pushes that shit out. So the muzzle is pointed directly at your uh, twig, twig and berries. <laughs> and this part is actually sticking out. And unless you wear like 3XL shirts, it's going to print just a little bit more. So the ACS, I can, I can carry that with just a t-shirt and not print at all. AIWB. But for the Heron, it, it, there's more material. It's a little bit bigger. And if you're a fat dude, it's going to push out a little more. But for you, I think you might be okay. It's, I mean, literally just put a ACS and a magazine in your pants appendix and, and see if it prints. Cause that's, I think. And- to keep in mind too, you're going from a 43 to a 19, so no matter yeah. what, it's going to print more. Yeah. It, it's it's just the way it works. Yeah, it's a but it's gun. a minimal amount. I mean, I I conceal carry my my full size Canic, and oh, I've yeah. never had an issue with that. I, I'm not and, saying it's going to be an issue. Yeah. I'm just saying if you're looking for a comparison, you're already off because sure. Oh, for sure, know. totally different gun. Yeah. Yeah. So that's my thoughts. Anyone else have anything else to add there? No. Uh, nope. 
All right, so uh, Chris, I, I wanted to rip on you, but I can't think of anything right off my head. Want to wait a minute? Chris W said that he's <laughs> six foot, one hundred ninety five pounds, uh, and the heron conceals great with his Glock nineteen. So there you go. Your results may vary. Next question: Who wants it? Uh, I think it's coming around to my turn. I All guess. Right, do it, bro. So. Sheen D, I know you guys are not lawyers, but just curious on what your interpretation of the law is in Oklahoma. By curious. By curious, of course. Uh, when, ah. it com- <laughs> when it, com- ah. it comes to transportation of firearms, uh, the law states any person except a convicted felon may transport in a motor vehicle a rifle or shotgun concealed behind a seat of the vehicle or within the interior of the vehicle, provided the rifle or shotgun is not clip, magazine, or chamber loaded. Okay. The authority to transport a clip or magazine loaded rifle or shotgun shall be pursuant to section 1289.13 of this title, uh, which states that any person who is the operator of a vehicle or is a passenger in any vehicle wherein another person who is licensed pursuant to the Oklahoma Self-Defense Act to carry a handgun concealed or unconcealed and is carrying a handgun or has a handgun or rifle or shotgun in such vehicle shall not be deemed in violation of the provisions of this section provided the licensee is in or near the vehicle. So, would you assume I can carry my AR pistol in my trunk with the mag loaded and inserted into the mag well, but not chambered? Thanks for your advice. <sighs> okay. Wow. Uh, all, un- understanding that we are all, again, not lawyers. Yeah. yeah. And this is not legal advice. So, let me see. Uh, I, I would personally say it's the way it read to me as I, as I was listening. It's not like the passenger can carry it, but not the driver. Well, hold on. It says – it specifically says rifle or shotgun. That's what is in the law. So, it's rifle or shotgun. Let me see. Uh, can – so ha- carry a handgun. So if a person who is licensed to carry a handgun, concealed or unconcealed, a handgun and has or handgun rifle strike. <laughs> so yep. I, I think he would have to be in the car with somebody who had a license, a, a handgun license. Let me see. Well, anyone who is the operator of a vehicle or is a passenger in the vehicle, yeah. wherein another person who is licensed. Yeah. Um. So somebody in the car has to be licensed in order to have a handgun load. But that that phrase right there, wherein another person who is yeah. licensed, makes it sound yeah. like someone else has to be the the licensee. Yeah, one licensed person has to be in the vehicle in order for anybody to be able to have a loaded f- firearm. Damn. Well, uh, so here in Colorado, you can carry a loaded pistol in your car without a concealed carry permit or any anything at all. You can just you can have a loaded pistol in your car, period, end of story. But you cannot have a loaded rifle. Or shotgun. Of, or, or shotgun because of poaching and you know hunting and things like that. That's, I think, why that law exists. And the way ours works, too, is you can have a loaded magazine. You just can't have it round chambered. Correct. Which is But with an sketchy, AR pistol, but. you could absolutely put it in your car, conceal it, round chambered, magazine in. Mm-hmm. Absolutely. You get pulled over, you're going to – they're going to – throw the book at you. You're going to have to go to court and defend, hey, this is considered a pistol. It's considered a handgun. And then eventually it'll get thrown out. But you're going to have to go through all that process. Yeah. So just like transcend the and get a carry permit. Um, yeah. <laughs> make, make it simple. I'm like, yeah. I, I think it's reasonably similar to Colorado. Uh, I, I think the issue is in the question that he's asking is the shotgun and rifle. I don't, I don't think the pistol is the big issue here. Well, he's AR talking pistol. about Keeping a pistol yeah, with a pistol. mag in the mag well, not chambered. And so I was looking at that, um, which is not clip magazine or chamber loaded. A rifle or shotgun, which is not clip magazine, which yeah. is not clip it's magazine not a, or chamber yeah, loaded. It's, it's not a rifle or a, or a shotgun. But then the Oklahoma Self Defense Act to carry, carry a handgun has that provision where. A licensee must be in the vehicle. I mean, listen, dude, we're all cards. So. Does, does Oklahoma have its own definition of rifle? That I was actually wondering the same oh, thing. And yeah, if, if so, does it match the federal definition? And handgun. Yeah. 
Uh, Heath M also for the last question said he's six foot three inches, one ninety pounds, and the heron with his Glock nineteen works great. You read that? No, that was Chris W. I just say keep it simple and get a carry permit. Just don't don't try and play get fun and games. Well, <laughs> and that's not worth it. But that's not the question. The question I basically know. is, can I carry my AR pistol loaded like a normal pistol? And I don't think so. Well, I mean, probably, but you're gonna have to prove it in a court of law, is my yeah. guess. All right, uh, Jeremy, take the next one. Uh, Frank C says. Liberty Cosmic cans are 45 cal cans, but are marked as multi cal cans. Hypothetically, a piece of duct tape on the end cap makes nine millimeter a little quieter. Could this be considered a wipe or suppressor part if this was ever done? Not yeah. that I ever did it or anything. I was just wondering. Feel free to use a fake name anyway. Not that it's necessary, but might be best for safety's sake. Why? Okay. It sounds dumb. It, it's it not going to do anything. Don't but I think I think it would qualify as a wipe. That's like a two decibel difference, and your ear is not capable of picking that up. I know, but I think if he got caught with that on there, a lawyer would say that's a wipe, or a prosecutor would probably say that's a wipe. If, if a cop arrested you with that, that's probably more like an add-on charge because they don't yeah. know what wipes are. Yeah. Um, I, I do want to point out the, the fake name because he said we could use fake names. So fake name I use is Sean Heron. <laughs> <laughs> that's funny. Me too. What the f- What the f- what is your problem tonight, Aaron? Is everybody here <laughs> using Sean here? Why are you yeah, Why are you coming so. at me, bro? It's I'm not, not just me. I'm not, I'm, I'm, I'm not intentionally. You just you just open yourself up to target practice. I think that's totally a wipe. Yeah, and yeah, I've never I, even heard that term wipe. To be honest with you, but hold on, wipes aren't illegal unless you take uh, that. They duck. are a suppressor part, right? If, you're, if it's on a suppressor, right? Absolutely, and it, having wipes is not illegal, as it were. But if he was to take that duct tape off or replace it or maintain it in any way himself, it would be illegal. I, I think you'd run into issues because it didn't come from the factory that way, and it is not part of the suppressor design, Yeah, right? Like, if yeah. your baffle is damaged, you can't make a new baffle to put in there um, your, yourself. You, you have bunch, to send it back. Can I shove a bunch of cotton inside my uh, suppressor? Oh, God, don't do that. And rocks. Absolutely do it. All right, we'll do it. Done. All right, cool. <laughs> yeah, actually, you should fill it up with uh, concrete and jello. <laughs> Jello. Wow. Oh. Wow. That's a mix. Those are two very different things, yeah. <laughs> All right. Done and done. All right, cool. Well, I think that'll be uh it for the questions tonight. Uh, if you guys have other questions, go submit them at we like shooting.com slash dear WLS and we will get them added in the next show. And uh definitely go leave us some questions. Uh Aaron, is this all? I was, that- I was gonna yell at that. Ne- I was gonna yell at that next guy too. <laughs> Perfect. We'll save it for next week. And, uh, and yeah, ask more questions because we are getting close to the end of what we have. All right, cool. Yeah, go go do that now, and let's talk about Bowers Group. So, Sean, I have the perfect segue here. Uh, Jeremy was just talking about concrete and Jello. Uh, we we have a, a little project we're working on with. Bowers Group and with suppressors, right? Yeah. Uh, are you aware that on my list of things that we're going to be doing, uh, we are going to be doing Jello shots? No, out of suppressors. So we, we will be making Jello in suppressors. I'm excited about it. What? Yeah. That sounds awesome. Yeah, it really does, doesn't it? Yeah, yeah. Uh, <laughs> I, I have had numerous conversations with Tom and Dorothy about this. Uh, I even have uh, got like the safe temperatures that I could bake within with the suppressors. Uh, <laughs> Talk to him about cleaning and stuff. His his answer was send them back and I will clean them to make sure they're done right, and then I'll send them back to you. Um, <laughs> eh, yeah, we've got a sonic cleaner. We're fine. Who cares about lead poisoning? Say, just throw in a sonic cleaner. So, uh, Aaron, you you've got the the verse thirty T there. I do I love it? I mean, I've been shooting the out of it. To be honest with you, like everything, I've been sticking it on everything. Like shoot this, <laughs> shoot this. You should put it on a four fifty. No, no. <laughs> have you have you put it on a ten millimeter yet? No, I have not. What it's about not a nine millimeter? Ten, it's not made for those guys. Try it. It's a thirty cal. It's a little small for something it's a, that big. It's a tough can. Do you know what it's made for? Uh, it's made for thirty cal. It's made for a seventeen WSM twenty two Hornet twenty two two fifty two two three two two four Valkyrie five five six twenty two nozzle two forty three Winchester two fifty seven Roberts twenty six nozzle two seventy Winchester. 
28 nozzler, 30 nozzler, 300 blackout, 300 Norma, 300 Winchester Magnum, 308, 30 out 6, 6 millimeter Remington, 6.5 Grendel, 6.5 Creedmoor, 6.8 Remington SPC, 7 by 30 water, 7 millimeter Remington Magnum, 7.62 by 39, 7.62 NATO, and many, 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 many more. So uh, the, the main reason what I'm going to be using it for is the 6.5 Creedmoor for uh, hunting purposes. Nice. Right on. Yeah, excited. That's a good use for it. Love it. That sounds appropriate. So if, yeah. if you're interested in suppressors, have questions about them, whatever, uh, we do absolutely love Bowers Group. Happy to say they just renewed with us yesterday. And Yay! Yeah. Woo! Yeah. Um, Cheers. So definitely go uh, support the companies that support us. I know there's tons of suppressor companies out there, but Nick and I, Aaron, Jeremy, we've all been really, really f***ing impressed uh, with the Bowers Group cans that we have that we have used. And we've used a lot of stuff, a lot of different stuff. In fact, my Silencer Coast Saker is trash compared to my 30 Cal Bowers can, the Verse yep. 30. So go check yeah. out coupon code WLS, BowersGroup.com. It'll save you money, I promise. And uh, if you don't look good, we don't look good. Right? That's exactly right. Not guns, not gear, just the gang. Hashtag not guns. All right, Aaron, what's your topic tonight? If you were, or you're going to channel your inner Mark Zuckerberg. Okay, I'm going to steal your ideas. Okay, if you were in charge of naming a new social media platform, what would you name it and what would it consist of? So, for example, uh, if I were to do this, I would create a, um, a social network platform, which was kind of like Twitter and quite, kind of like Facebook, where uh, you wouldn't have to use your real name and you would just be like the biggest everyone else out there and i would call it um hate book <laughs> wow all right yeah yeah so it's a mixture of twitter and 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 facebook hate hate book all right i like that uh let's see who wants to go next oh i can go next i know the answer to this one perfect go ahead <laughs> Well, let's see. I would uh, also create something similar to Twitter, except it would be uh, censorship-free. It would be based on cryptocurrency, uh, probably one of the fastest ones out there. Let's say something like EOS, and I'd probably call it something like Voice. Oh, wait, that exists. Yeah, I was like, you're copying them. (laughs) Yeah, everybody, voice.com, get out there, sign up. It's going to be awesome. Maybe. I, I haven't even gotten an account yet, even though I signed up. Are they, are they are they owned by somebody that's going to silence conservatives? Nope, they are specifically uh, anti censorship. <laughs> Good for now. They all start off. No, it's a, it's literally a platform, not a publishing company. They only create the code. You do with it what you will. Remember when Reddit was anti censorship? Yeah, but they were actually controlled by you know people. This is not. This is they just created the software. You do the rest. So that's everything's controlled by somebody. Otherwise, no one's making money. Uh, all right. I would make a social media where the only pictures you could post are uh, women's holes, and it would be called my inbox, ladies. <laughs> Get ready for a bunch of men's holes. <laughs> uh, I mean, how can you tell the difference? Uh, let's see. Nick. Why holes? That's so gross. <laughs> I, don't I don't know. That's where poop comes from. That was f- Genius. <laughs> Nick, he's e pluribus <laughs> at gmail.com. <laughs> BRP registering my new email. <laughs> That's probably taken. It's from a uh, community. Okay. Um, I would, I would make a, a social media platform um, where everyone in the country was automatically made a member. So that it'd be like the, you know, the biggest social media network in the country or whatever. Um, and it would break all the time. It would never work. It'd be taxpayer funded. Um, it would constantly be under construction. If you didn't want to pay into it or you didn't want to be part of it, you would go to prison. Um, I, I think this would be awesome, right? It it would be heavily censored. Um, it's taken. Yeah. You (laughs) pluribus. Yeah, and I would call it uh, I would call it bookface.gov. All right, Jeremy, what would your social media be uh, network be called, and what would what would be done there? It would be called uh, go have a conversation with your friends, go get dinner, actually talk to them. Don't sit at a computer. Gay. Dot com. Yeah. 
It's <laughs> so the guy who's always on his phone. So it's an actual website <laughs> where you can get on and post photos of you doing things with your friends. I like that. It would be like it would be like your own personal space, and you could like design the page yourself, and like you could put like HTML files all over it, and like. <laughs> And and yeah, we call it like MySpace or something. <laughs> you can you can put files, huh? you can put annoying music on there. Yeah, I have I, I would play uh, Nickelback that always plays automatically, <laughs> but it, but in a MIDI format, it's digital. Oh, yeah. dude, <laughs> yes, MIDI, yes, <laughs> hell's yeah, <laughs> dude, that is so awesome. Actually, uh, I wonder if that actually exists. Nickelback in MIDI format. Dude, everything's MIDI. Uh, let's see. You know, I don't know what website you're on, but I'm not horribly it? offended by it. <laughs> well, <laughs> it's got porn ads. Uh, are they all pictures of holes? <laughs> in Sean's wheelhouse. He's on e pluribus- <laughs> com. He's always comparing his own. Like, my- Nickelback free MIDI files. I found, <laughs> I found something. Man, I can't play MIDI files on this computer. Well, you don't um, have Flash 2.4. I'm pretty- <laughs> <laughs> oh, here we go. <laughs> This should work. Hold on, because it's this is important to the show. Oh, this isn't. Work. Do you like Nickelback? That's not MIDI. That's not MIDI at all. Would you like to listen to their music? No. No. Oh, here's hey. one. I found That's it. what you said last time. I don't know. Okay. This. Yeah. This. This sounds good. Let's get into it. <laughs> that's it right there, man. <laughs> that's my, that's my jam. <laughs> this is the music they play when uh, in elevators when it's falling to its doom. <laughs> hey, you know, oh, well, you- the, the MIDI part is horrible. Like the actual piano tune isn't isn't terrible, <laughs> right? So, you know, like, I feel like that would be a pretty cheerful thing to die to. So, you know, not, I can think of worse. Yeah, it'd, it'd feel like you're dying in a video game. Yeah. Right. <laughs> Which I'm cool with. Wait, is there a MIDI file of the uh, Friends theme song? Uh, oh. oh. Friends theme song, which is by the Rembrandts, by the way. Man, they must be making a f-ing buck and a half off of that. Probably not. Oh, dude, yeah. here we go. This is the best day of my life. Here we go. I take it back. This is the one. <laughs> that was Nathan Peta suggested that. Nathan Peta? When Sean sings along, but he isn't sure quite what the lyrics are. It's like you're always stuck in second gear. <laughs> it hasn't been your day, your month, or even your year. You forgot your week. Yeah. A week year. <laughs> This is so hey, great. I'll be there for you. <laughs> uh, it's awesome. Uh, what, what Welcome was... to We Like MIDI. <laughs> yeah. It's our you new podcast. It would be better, though. Better than MIDI. What? Um, it would be William Shatner singing Rocket Man. No. Rocket Ooh. Man. That's a pretty good one. Or uh, Common People by William Shatner. What about, his cover. What about the Friends theme song in Heavy Metal? Mm. No. Mm. That's a thing. I, I I think so. Hold on, let's see. Here we go. Here. We go. So no one told you life was gonna be this way. No times are told you broke. Your love lies the old way. This is great. Okay. All right, you guys. <laughs> you guys just you hate the metal. His his umbrella was the. What is that, is that? Is that a thing? He he held an umbrella as though it was. His oh yeah, and then opened it. Um, I don't oh, even like a turtle. I have forgotten now where we <laughs> like even are in the show. Uh, I think we need to talk about rubber dummies. Did did everyone do their their social media platform? Yes, yes. But don't forget, ladies, hold my inbox. Let's do this. <laughs> but do I mean? Come on, your butt. Oh God. <laughs> shut, shut, shut. Sean starts a website called sweet, sweet asterisk.com. <laughs> <laughs> and Jeremy registers one that just directs to it called uh, apocalypse currency.com. 
<laughs> Y'all need to step <laughs> off. That that is my apocalypse currency. I will fight you. <laughs> okay, you know, rubber dummies are a target system that I practice with a lot, so that one day when I have to defend my sweet sweet apocalypse currency, <laughs> I will be prepared and ready, and I will come out on top. Wait, that. Uh, you'll be coming out on a bottom. <laughs> on the bottom yeah. You'll be on top. Someone, someone be coming out in the bottom. You'll, <laughs> you'll be on top, but it'll be reverse cowgirl. This is the worst. Anyway, if you go to the range, if you practice, whether it's competition, whether it's just plinking, whatever it is, like these these targets are awesome. You can dress them up. You can put clothes on them. You can add to the realism. You can paint them like zombies. You can you can do a lot of different stuff with them. They they last for a very long time. Rubberdummies.com coupon code WLS saves you ten percent off, and uh, I think we even get a kickback. If if they go there, so uh, that's yeah, like yeah, double so. double better good. Yeah, for us. But yeah, we we love the rubber dummies and we use them all the freaking time. It's time for some industry news, Aaron. Uh, why don't you start us off, buddy? Do you like six hours, Sean? Uh, not all of them, but I do like the P three sixty five. Nick, do you like six hours? Uh, I do like some of their guns. Yeah. Uh, oh, you're you're a gay gun. Uh, no, he's a sick gun. He's six hour and sour. No, uh, well, apparently you guys pull your money together and buy one gun, and you both get uh, do, do, do you get two guns. Buy one, get one free with six hour and Father's Day promotion. I can wow. get one gun, and then you get something else that looks like a gun. I mean, the, the difference. I don't want the two twenty six, but I kind of do want the X five. Oh yeah, that's pretty sexy. The the X five is a wait, beautiful gun. Wait. No, it's not a real X5. <laughs> yeah, it's what a is SIG it? Air. Oh, it's a f***ing Air. Yeah. Get the f*** out of here. <laughs> SIG. <laughs> f*** you, six hour. Savage. Get... <laughs> this is f***ing. Oh, yeah, that's cool. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, that's a really good deal. Yeah. <laughs> f*** you, SIG. Yeah. I, it, it's a uh, dollar gun. F*** you. Get the f*** out of here. <laughs> So Sig is pulling the, the sweetest April Fool's Day joke because people don't f-ing read anymore. No. <laughs> I, I am so mad right now. Yeah, I'm sorry, Sean. It's okay. No, it's not your fault. It's Sig. I, I blame Phil Strader. Yeah, he's, he's, he's rolling over in his grave laughing at you guys. And he's not even dead yet. Weird. Hey, AR15.com uh, is being sold. And the interesting purchaser is the same company holding company as Brownells, which is the second the second adventure group. Oh, go ahead, Savage. Well, it just says, like, they're going to purchase an interest in Air15.com. So, you know, Brownells is, is buying buying into them. They're not necessarily buying them outright. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so, second- I think it's a great move by Brownells. And, you know, obviously, Pete Brownell recently left NRA because he said that they had, you know, a lot of, uh, a lot of more things that he was going to need to direct his attention to, at, you know, as the owner of Brownells. And I think this is a great idea by, you know, him and Brownells because I think Brownells always is killing it. I mean, they make all the like perfectly right business decisions. And uh, yeah, so I think this is a great idea. They do, including advertising on We Like Shooting. What? Yeah, no. Uh, so I think that Brownells should also buy our brand. Um, mm-hmm. What about Tree Fitty? For. Three hundred and fifty million. Yeah, a million. Yeah, no dollars. No, no, I think you guys are really overvaluing our. You start high, and then you know you oh, let yeah. them talk oh, you no down. The only one starts high here is Savage. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> and he still ends high too. It's weird. His shirt even says, "You know, I want to ignite a doobie." <laughs> <laughs> it's what it's <laughs> it does exactly. You better blow that. It out. <laughs> Give that, he needs some milk. <laughs> <laughs> we were just talking about Applebee's waitress tonight. <laughs> I wonder if she misses us. Uh, uh, she probably does. She probably sits there and she's like, "I wonder where they were." I wish they had some milk. But yeah, anyway, uh, second second adventure group, which includes Brownells Crow Shooting Supply. I've been to both those places: Big Springs Range, WL Bomber, and Sinclair International. Bought an interesting. You know what the weird part is? What? What? Bomblers, WL Bomblers, is like 15 minutes from my house. Oh, nice. I, I didn't realize anything was 15 minutes from your house. Yeah, not even, not well, even. Every, everything's everything's 15 minutes away. There's a cornfield. It's 15 a from his house. 
<laughs> oh, thanks, Ulysses. Well, that's cool. Let me ask you guys this. Have any, has anyone on this show been to AR15.com in the last year? Yes. No, because I've been banned since like five years ago. <laughs> Savage can't even figure out a VPN and a fake account, but that's cool. <laughs> Dude, they catch that. Uh, no, no, I have not been to AR15.com in forever. Jeremy, have you been to AR15.com? I've I've never been to AR15.com. Oh, I f-ing hate it. But Nick, you have? Yeah, like yesterday. Why? Oh, to look uh, after this article came out. Uh, no, I just uh, occasionally I'll like do Google searches and it'll lead to discussions there. Yeah, uh, I uh, avoid them purposely. Huh. Is it a discussion board then? It's yeah, a it's, forum. A, it's a forum. There's some decent information on there. Yeah, if you can there is. wade through it. Good. But cool. Wow. Yeah, that's very interesting. Next story. Uh, Maryland governor vetoes gun control bill. Yay! That's surprising. Great. Go ahead, uh, Savage. Uh, get, the, give, get the details out there, Savage. No, it's. Uh, it's I not briefly from read over this. So Virginia, their their governor is Republican. The 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 uh, you know lower house and Senate are uh, primarily Democrats. So the Democrats put this gun control uh, bill in front of the governor, and obviously, since he's Republican, he was able to veto it. But ob- there's always pressure. You know, right now, especially because it's the governor of, of uh, Maryland to uh, to sign those kind of things. But he didn't. So, you know, good for the people of Maryland. They're not totally. F-ing. They're only partially. F-ing. Yeah. So they have this board that if you basically get denied on or revoked for a, a concealed carry application, it goes to this this review board and they handle those appeals and getting rid of those would basically remove the ability to appeal any of that stuff. Right. Yeah, I'm yep. sorry. I'm kind of lit right now because I'm <laughs> drinking whiskey. So I'm like, uh, sure, whatever you say. All the, all the J's. Well, no, it's just weird because it had more than one paragraph because it's not on Reddit. <laughs> hey. <laughs> hey, guys. Yeah. Hey, guys. Yeah. I don't like them at all. Silencers. Who said that? Dom oh. J. I mean, to be fair, lots to of be people fair. Have probably said that. To be fair, <laughs> off, dude. But in this context, I'm not no saying context. he's not a dumbass. For, I'm not saying he's not a dumb for saying it. I'm saying in the history of the world, I don't like silencers, okay. or I Here. don't like them at all. In in in, in, he's, in reference he's being to being a semantic meaning has probably been said by a lot of people. It was just said by you, and, and, Jeremy said it. Jeremy said it, it like seven times. Savage said it. I said it. Yeah, I haven't I, said I, it. Yet. I said it when I read the from, title. From another article. President Donald Trump said he'll seriously look at banning gun silencers after last week's mass shooting in Virginia. Well, I'd like to think about it, Trump said in an interview with Piers Morgan on ITV's Good Morning Britain. I'm going to seriously look at it. While Trump didn't uh, say he didn't love the idea of a ban, he was also unhappy, uh, was unhappy to see the frequency and severity of mass shootings in the U.S. You know, same thing happened with bump stocks. Yeah. That's all I got to say. Dude, bump stocks now, were low-hanging fruit, and now that that precedent has been set, it's just uh, taken away or eroding. Now, right now, I'm gonna I'm gonna hand it to them that not not to him, but in general, like the the definition of machine gun was really shaky. I mean, mm, it, it's not shaky to us who actually know how a bump stock works, but the way the ATF interprets it was still kind of up in the air. There's no way the ATF can rewrite the law regarding this. Like it. it, it there was some wiggle room with the bump stocks. There's legal. They're NFA items. You cannot, and they have no ban on them like machine guns do. Machine guns made after 1986 are blanket banned. Uh, before 1986 are allowed. Silencers, suppressors, no matter what time range, are blanket allowed as long as you go through the proper Form 1 or Form 4. Yeah. This is man. I'll tell you what. It would take a lot for me. Can you now. imagine if we get... Can you imagine if we get a Hughes Amendment like for suppressors and short barrels? Uh, <laughs> suck. Now there is a there is a Supreme Court challenge coming from what was it Kentucky, Kansas, oh, Kansas. Thank you, coming from Kansas. Uh, yeah, mm, could work. I think uh, Gun Owners of America is the one that, one uh, group that's bringing it. Uh, it looks good. If it the is, Supreme it, Court takes it, uh, I don't know. I think it might stand a chance. It is the yeah, I think it is GOA. Eric Pratt, I saw a quote in the article about it. So, yeah, this is basically the the Kansas guy. 
he went into a sur- surplus store, bought a suppressor off the shelf, no NFA, no background because Kansas law says that they're not regulated items and federal law says the f- they aren't. So anyway, he got arrested. He lost in the lower courts. They have submitted a petition of certiori, certiori, and yes. that petition will actually be tomorrow, June 6th, so the day after the show. W- when does the show come out? Uh, six, seven, eight. The show comes out the 8th. On June 6th, the Supreme Court will uh, rule on whether they're going to accept the petition and, and take this. To or, be, they'll hold it, or they'll hold it. And to be clear, Kleckner says if they accept it, it's generally because they had, think that there's a possibility of overturning the lower court's decision. Oh, but man, yeah, I don't know. If they accept it, oh, son. <laughs> and Trump, man, like, I don't know if it's just more of the 60 chess that I keep hearing about, but it's starting to f-ing hurt. Yeah. He, he hasn't found a gun control law that, you know, suggesting he, he doesn't like at this point. Yeah. I love how drunk drivers kill people all day, every day, but one person uses a bump stock and we better take them all away. One person uses a silencer. Oh, shit, we better take them all away. Getting real old there, Don. You know what? And not to be all conspiracy theorist here, but did you see the uh, the person who did the uh, Freedom of Information Act in regards to how many crimes were committed with the bump stock and what yes. the answer was? Zero. Yep. Zero. Zero. Now, I don't even know. I don't. I don't know if that if the FBI had an accurate count. It might not be that they did have an accurate count because maybe that goes for the ATF. But the fact that they said zero makes me really wonder what the hell was going on in Nevada. Has he not been convicted yet? Maybe that's why. Well, he's dead. So he's dead. Yeah, <laughs> a crime is a crime is a crime. Yeah, but the, the investigation is over. But they still said that no bump stocks have been used in a crime ever. Yeah. Next story. Illinois gun shop quit state due to new regulations. Well, congratulations, Illinois. You f- yourself again. <laughs> congratulations, you played yourself. Yeah, it's just it's 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 terrible that uh, a business is lost. I'm bipolar. What? That's what that's what it says on Sean's face. Oh yeah, it's a koozie. It says I think I'm bipolar. Mm-hmm. Look at that. It's green. So anyhow, yeah, that's the whole Illinois gun shop quit state due to new regulations. Stop with the regulations. You're hurting small businesses. Yeah. And more companies will keep moving out of these states until. Yeah. And the regulations aren't working, obviously. 50 shootings over the weekend. Whoops. All those regulations that you guys put in the plates, they're not working. Maybe you need something else like deregulate. They sure aren't. All right. That'll do it for the news stories. Um, go ahead and submit questions to Dear WLS. We like shooting dot com slash Dear WLS Savage. Uh, any final parting thoughts before we leave this double tap? Uh, Jesus, I don't know. <laughs> can somebody get me in a room with Trump just so I can talk to him? It won't f-ing matter. The guy has the memory and the retention of a f-ing goldfish, dude. I don't know. Maybe it's just some of this five D chess. Maybe it's just some of this 5D chess that I keep hearing I doubt that. Chestnut checkers. Yeah. Chestnuts roasting on an open fire. Can we make Jack a shirt that says chestnut checkers? Nipping at your nose. We should. All right. Aaron's going to have Aaron's gonna have chin. <laughs> the <laughs> in his mouth. That seems like an odd thing to say. <laughs> Love WLS. <laughs> is the, like, I, I don't, where, where did that come from? Only if, only if, only if you got one. <laughs> <laughs> what? Love WLS is the place you can go. There's four things you can do there. You can buy shirts like this We Like Shooting shirt. You can become a rooftopper, share links to your favorite show, and get points. Those points turn into like this shirt. You can become a Patreon, get access to our Patreon-only Facebook page, the podcast, the podcast, the unbleeped podcast. And uh, so let's see, Nathan asked what hat I'm wearing. It's Iron Horse Firearms hat. And uh, let's see, you can find our advertisers, their coupon codes, and how to link to their websites to get all the great deals. So that'll that'll do right there. Uh, join a gun-related advocacy group such as the Second Amendment Foundation, the Firearms Policy Coalition, the Gun Owners of America, the NRA, and donate to the NRA ILA. Still our biggest lobbying group. And look, it's Ugh. it's burning down a bit, guys. Once it burns down, if if we're not there to rebuild it back up, we lose that lobbying power. Things change for the worse in this country. So be a member. Go to the meeting. Vote. Write the board of directors. Write. 
everyone that you possibly can. And I mean actual letters on paper because, you know, they're stuck in the 50s apparently. But we need to do those things. The Suicide Prevention Line is 1-800-273-8255. That's 1-800-273-TALKER. You can text 741741. Uh, Aaron, were you going to say something? I was going to say 1850s. <clears throat> yeah, exactly. But, uh, yeah, if you need those numbers, call those numbers. We're here live every single week on Monday and Wednesday and on demand every day. More importantly, go to welikeshooting.com slash show to subscribe. And as we always say, thanks for listening. Get some medical training. And Savage, Savage is, is a, a potato. potato. Oh, yeah. What? Why, why is there this delay in this audio file? It really is pissing me off. <laughs> Yay. Is that my camera? Savage Potato, the name of the episode? Savage Potato. Crazy? I'm just potato, excited. Potato, la, la, la. I'm just excited about that thumbnail. Oh, that's gross. That's like, uh, that's like... Oh, my God. I thought you were mooning us. <laughs> <laughs> I thought Sean's sack was reaching over to your screen. <laughs> it looks like a peach pit. <laughs> Dude, never do that again. <laughs> Holy! <laughs> I mean, I've never even thought about that. No, I've seen it. Now, now I can't unsee it. That was horrible yeah. in every way. <laughs> That's what his head's gonna look like when he's old. That's what his head looks like now. <laughs> yeah, but no, I mean, it's he's not gonna have to push it. It's always gonna be wrinkly like that. <laughs> That's so weird. <laughs> so bad. Ugh. Did you think that show was worth a dollar? Help the cast by visiting lovewls.com.